beginning of this unit, we learned that calories, the things that are measured in food, are a unit of measurement of energy. So the calories listed on different food labels tell us how much energy there is in different kinds of food. Now we've already learned that the different kinds of biomolecules, things like carbohydrates and proteins and fats, all have different amounts of energy in them. And as we continue through this unit, we'll find out why. But before we get there, let's talk a little bit more about energy. In science, we like to be able to quantify or apply numbers to things. And because of that, we have something called calorimetry or calorie metry, which is the measurement of energy in certain kinds of things. So today, we're gonna to be setting some different kinds of food on fire, and we're gonna measure the amount of energy that's being released from those foods and compare them to how, much, how many calories are listed as being in those different kinds of foods. So where does the term calorie actually come from? Well, calorie is a standardized unit that we use for measuring the amount of energy in something, and what a calorie really is is that's the amount of energy that's needed to heat up one milliliter of water by one degree Celsius. So this right here is one milliliter of water, if you can see how much this is kind of up next to my face. If we increase the temperature of this by one degree Celsius, the amount of energy that that's requiring is one calorie. So to set up our experiment here, we've got a couple different kinds of food. We've got some Erlenmeyer flasks, and each of these are already measured out with exactly 50 milliliters of water in them. We've got a thermometer, and we're gonna set up our little pieces of food on this stand right here, light each one on fire, and then we're gonna connect an Erlenmeyer in this uh, trap right here so that when the flame comes up, it increases the temperature of the water inside the Erlenmeyer flask. And with this thermometer, we can measure how much the temperature of the water increases to see which one of these foods release the greatest amount of energy. All right, trial number one with popcorn. The initial temperature of the water is 19.9 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna move the thermometer. It's not very good to have a thermometer right next to an open flame. go. Four point five. Yeah, it's still going up a little twenty four point four. So we went up by about four and a half degrees. Okay, so now we're going for a I tried to find about a medium sized hot Cheeto. Water is starting at about nineteen point seven degrees Celsius. So let's see how much one hot Cheeto heats up all this water. Let's see if we can get it to light first. Come on. It's lit a little bit. All right. I take a minute. Looks like we're stabilizing at about 40.9. So we went up by over 20 degrees with just one piece of hot Cheeto. Over 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so now we're gonna try this with some trick cereal. The water here is about 19.9 degrees Celsius. Start now. Not sure if these will work. I've never actually used these for this experiment before. But we'll see. Oh, there we go. Now we're burning. Like we're stopping here at about 30.1 degrees Celsius, so we went up by about 10 degrees. So, a little bit more effective than the popcorn. The popcorn went up by about four and a half degrees, but we did use two pieces here, so that's important to take into account. All right, so the last piece of food we're gonna try here is a, a pretzel stick, which is kind of hard to get onto the uh, stand here, and hopefully we can actually light it on fire. I've never lit a pretzel on fire before, so I hope it works. And we're starting at about 19.9 degrees Celsius for our room temperature water. So for our last one here.
All right, so we're stabilizing here at about 29.7, so we went up by almost 10 degrees. All right, so the pretzel was pretty effective as well. And it went like... Okay, so here's all of our data from those four trials that we ran with the popcorn, the hot Cheeto, the tricks, and the pretzel. And if we did the calculations to find the change in temperature underneath our delta T here, based on the change in the water temperature from heating it from the flame, popcorn went up by four and a half degrees, hot Cheeto went up by 21.2 degrees. Remember we had two pieces of tricks, so I divided the temperature change by two, which was 10.2 divided by two is 5.1 degrees Celsius. And the pretzel went up by about 9.8 degrees Celsius. Now, if we compare the change in temperature to the calories per serving, there are a couple things we should take into account, which I'll talk about in a minute. But we can see that the object with the most calories per serving is the hot Cheeto, and it obviously increased the temperature of the water the most out of all of these objects. Now, Trix and Popcorn have technically the same calories per serving, and they were at about 5.1 degrees Celsius and four and a half, which is pretty close, especially how, for how rough our experiment was. And those are both a little bit higher than the pretzel at 110 calories per serving, but the pretzel heated up the water more than the popcorn and the tricks did. So a couple things we should be thinking about. When we are talking about calories per serving, that's usually based on how many pieces of something the producer thinks we should be eating. So if somebody thinks that 20 pieces of popcorn is a serving and two pieces of Cheetos is a serving, that's obviously gonna be very, very different between the amount of energy in one Cheeto and the amount of energy in one piece of popcorn. But we are in fact seeing here that hot Cheetos have the greatest amount of energy and the most amount of calories per serving, which makes sense. But again, we should be comparing how much of the substance we're actually burning, which wasn't the same across the board. So probably a better metric or a better measurement is what is the, how intense is the flame of each object and how long does the flame last? but we could run a, a slightly different experiment to be a little bit more accurate if, if we were really concerned about that.